I had to take this decision as, as Prime Minister, and it was a huge responsibility then, and there's not a single day that passes by that I don't reflect and think about that. Well, I think the beginning of the track that led towards regime change was straight after September the 11th. It became clear that Saddam had not changed, but was carrying on in the same way. I think it would have been profoundly wrong of us to have gone back to the Americans and said, I know we said that we would be with you in handling this, but now we're not. I don't think it was a great secret that I was right alongside America after September the 11th and continued to be. So what I was saying to him is, I'm gonna be with you in handling it this way, right? I'm not gonna push you down this path and then back out when it gets too hot politically, because it is gonna get hot politically, for me, very, very much so. It really does defy uh, common sense and, and logic, let alone the discussion, to think that there were people in the cabinet who didn't know what was, that, that we were on a course where the principles of it were absolutely clear. Go down the UN route, get an ultimatum. If he fails to meet the ultimatum, we're going to be with America in military action. Did you understand at the time that your words about an unreasonable veto were inconsistent with the legal advice? I was making basically a political point. However, I accept entirely um, that there was an inconsistency between what he was saying and what I was saying there, but I was saying it not, in a sense, as a lawyer, but politically. Of course, I, I regret deeply and profoundly the loss of life, whether from our own armed forces, those of other nations, the civilians who help people in Iraq, or the Iraqis themselves. And I just wanted to say that because I think it is right to say it and it's what I feel.